Welcome. Today we're making the mini present topiary. First, we'll start by covering our styrofoam filled vase with some snow blanket. We'll just cut out a square, tuck it inside and fluff it up nice. Folding it in half a couple times, then cutting the corner finds our center. Once that's on, we'll put in our dowel in the middle. As always, we appreciate your support. Please hit subscribe and like. And for this project, we'll be making three boxes, one five inch, one three inch, one two inch. So measure out your dowels, your skewers rather, and cut them to size. And you'll need 12 of those for each box. Now for our little triangle corners, you'll cut your square. This is a big size so you can see it. Fold it in half, fold it in half again, unfold it, cut into middle, and then glue one side, fold it all over into the corner triangle. Hope this helps you make those teeny little things. And our corner brackets for these projects were three quarter inch squares. With your brackets in place, then you'll just glue in your skewers like that. And there we are, there's a couple right there. Once the corner brackets are done, you can make your squares. Uh, you just put on the corner bracket, glue, a little dab of glue in the corner and place the uh, skewers inside just like that. And when you're making your squares, try to make it consistent. So if you put one, let's say on the top, put the other ones below, do the same thing on the other side and on the other square so that you get a nice square out of it. There we go. And when you have two of them done, then just put a little dab of glue in the corner of a bottom one and place up the wall skewers. This is an easy and fun project and I know you can do it. Doesn't take a lot of fancy stuff, just a few skewers, a glue gun, some paper or cardstock, and some gauze, or rather mesh, and you too can have some little presents. The cost for this project didn't really cost us much because we used a lot of scraps from leftover projects. And even if you started off brand new, it probably only cost about $5 to complete this whole project. And once your wall skewers are in place, just put another dab of glue in the top of the other square and place that on top. On the big present on the bottom, we're gonna be putting some braces in as well, just because it holds all the weight. So you'll just put it on the dowel as previous, take a measurement about two and a half inches, cut a little piece and glue them on each side so you can place it back on the branch dowel later. And on top, we put another brace for supporting the bow later, just to give it a little more strength, but you probably really don't need that. Now we'll be putting mesh on the presents. So just glue the corners, carefully place your mesh on top, secure it down, give it a good snug pull once it cools a bit and just keep going around your present. It's probably a good idea to wear maybe latex gloves or a little rubber tip for your fingers too because that glue gets pretty hot and get a good burn if you're not careful. This is a great little project for people who don't have a lot of space. It'll look nice in a little doorway, front doorway, or a mantelpiece, or sideboard, something like that. A nice little impact piece, that's pretty cool. And once you've ripped, wrapped your present with our decorative mesh, just trim off the excess. And in the corners, we'll be making a little hole so we can place it back on our little trunk dowel. Then to place our ribbon on the present, you'll just put some hot glue on one end, wrap the ribbon around the present and sort of glue it back on that same end later. And when you're picking the color for your ribbons, try to have colors that have a lot of contrast so you have a lot of impact visually. Then just do the same on the other side. Then for the bow part of the ribbon, 
we'll take a long piece, fold it in half, and then we'll put glue at the little crease part there and glue each end of it down to make the nice rounded part of the bow. And we'll do that with both. It is a really fun project. There's no real special skills needed. Anybody can do this and uh, it's just a fun little afternoon. Once the two bow halves are done, you'll glue them together in a little X. Take another little piece, glue that together to make a nice little round, and put that in the middle of the bow. Once the bow is done, put a little bit of glue on top where the ribbons intersect, and place your bow on it with the ends facing out toward the corners. Once that big present's done, you can move on to the other ones. This one's our little baby topper. There's no extra bracing needed for that, and it's the same process as the larger one. For this project, we used red and white decorative mesh, but you could use any color you like, blue, green, red, white. We just found that the white worked really well. We just found that the white had a lot more luminescence with the light, so it shone a lot better than the other colors. There, and once your presents are done, you can put some lights around the dowel. Uh, just suspend them with some twist ties so they stay in place when you put the presents over top. And these lights were $2 from Dollar Tree. Of course, we'll start with the large present because it's on the bottom and just put the dowel through those two braced corners. Make sure the lights go through, then we'll have our Middle present, again, cut some holes in there so you can place it over top. And you'll want those holes at opposite ends so you can angle your present down as well. Then with the baby topper, you'll just need one hole because the dowel will rest on the other side. And there we go, our mini present topiary. 